Happy Mother's Day, Virgo mothers. I hope that you have a good day today. We're going to ask Spirit to give us a message. What do you need to know right now, Virgo? What does Virgo need to know right now? If you don't know who I am, I am Nikki. This is the Earthy Virgo. This is an all Virgo channel. Okay. Thank you all for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. We have here the Three of Cups. Party, celebrations, get together, gatherings. Okay. What's going on with Earthy Virgo? We have lovers. Okay. And we have here the temperance. This could be a, a clear indication that somebody doesn't know what they want. Okay. Um, this could be energy that you that you have already experienced, Virgo. Um, making decisions, making choices. <clears throat> And we have a moment. Somebody had a secret. Okay. A lover who you were with had a secret. Um, and we have the four of cups. And maybe they didn't know what they wanted with you. I'm not going to keep on talking about the same shit when it comes to love. Seems like every time I get into readings, I, I don't know if it's because a lot of you all are still wanting to know what's love in your love life or, or why this person hurt you or ghosted you or whatever. But clearly this person had a secret and we have temperance. You know, they didn't know what they wanted. They didn't know if they wanted you or the other person or what. Okay. What do you need to know right now? We have the Ace of Cups. You don't need their, you don't need them anyway. Okay. Cause we have the Ace of Cups here. Okay. This person messed up with you because they didn't know what they wanted. Okay. And the relationship ended. How many, I mean, really, does this sound familiar to you, Virgo? Because I'm sick of talking about love. You had chemistry with this person, okay? Finances and career. You probably had arguments over money. That was probably one of the biggest things between the two of you was money issues, which is probably why you all split in the first place, okay? Um, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're, you're being guided to take for, for this new love. You know, let that, because... What you don't want, you don't realize, or maybe you do. This person cheated on you. They didn't know what they, if they wanted to be with you or somebody else. Long story short, fuck them, <laughs> because you had chemistry with this person. Y'all had some issues in the finance department or whatever. Um, maybe you were giving more into the relationship than they were. Spirit is telling you, great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take because new love is worth waiting for. Okay, so let this punk ass person go. Okay, we're not going to even keep on talking about this. Okay, just let it go got new love coming into your life tell that person from the past they can you know kiss your left titty and make your right one jealous whatever okay so we're gonna move on what do you need to know right now we have the emperor Virgo what do you need to know right now and we have the ten of cups Okay. Followed by the uh, Ten of Swords. Someone threw you under the bus here. Okay. It's like you feel that a lot of weight is and pressure is on you in your life right now because you're doing it all by yourself. But I see you having to walk away, though. Um, I don't know if, if maybe you're not saying stuff that you need to say. You're holding on to stuff instead of speaking up for yourself, your value. But this could be also, it's somebody in your family. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups. There's some sort of battle going on with you and your family. Someone wants to do something, the other person wants to do something else. This, listen, relationships. I don't know if that's what the spirit wants me to communicate with you all today about relationships, but we're going to change some things up today. Same stuff, different day. Okay. What message of spirit do you want Virgo to know right now? Okay. This card doesn't belong. Hold on. We have courage. That doesn't belong. I find that inner strength to face fear with confidence. That's having courage to move on from people and things that no longer serve you. And sometimes you maybe have you may have temptation to stay where you are out of comfort, but sometimes you got to understand you need a new beginning. Okay. 
because you keep repeating the same things over and over again, being in the same kind of relationships, Virgo, over and over again. Time is out for that. This is a new beginning for you, a brand new start, okay? You got to have courage to let go in your mind and in your heart. You got to let go, okay? Recognition and reward. Uh, know that you're valuable wherever it is you are in your life. Um, be open to being rewarded for what it is that you do from anything and anybody. Be recognized for who you are as a person, as a Virgo, as a giver, and for some of you as a caregiver. And we have to choose wisely. So make some decisions. There's some choices that you need to make. And sometimes in your life, you feel like I keep being the same kind of person. Why do I keep getting hurt? Why do I keep on going through what I'm going through? You don't really talk about it. You're very aware of it, but you're suffering in silence. You don't let a lot of people into your life in your heart chakra. Okay. So you're aware of what's going on, what you're doing, what you're not doing. You're aware that you have a bad picker out or you keep picking the same old fucking idiot over and over and over again. And you keep getting hurt. But you keep standing that connection with somebody because that's who you love. That's who you care about. You want to give that person a chance. You want to stick around to see if this person going to get their shit together, but they never do. So you're wasting your time. You got to let go. Stop suffering in silence. Open up. Don't, don't be tempted to stay somewhere where clearly you're not wanted, where clearly you're not needed. You need to let it go. We have your positive movement forward. Move on. Just let it go. This person never serves you. They never serve you. They never will. So when you open yourself up, you're going into the ha a happy place. You're going into that sunlight, a new beginning for you. Very, very positive energy. Okay. And we have here. And then when you get to the other side, you're going to have partnerships and alliances. You're going to have somebody reaching out for you to take care of you, to take care of each other, saying, you don't have to do this alone. I'm here for you. Okay. Too many. What do you need to know right now, Virgo? Have patience as well with yourself and with what it is that you need to do. Have patience and watch your future grow in front of you, what you're seeing ahead of you. It may be bleak when you look open your window and you look out, you don't see any kind of opportunities, but opportunities are there, okay? Yeah, the tower. Some of you all are in a tower moment right now um, and you're tempted to stay because it's comfortable. But this is an opportunity because you got so many things going on. So many negative things are pushing you away from your current situation. And it's very uncomfortable because spirit is trying to push you out of there, trying to uplift you and move you away from what's holding you stuck. What's holding you? Why do you feel you need to be stuck in this disruptive situation? Why can't you just walk away on your own? Because you're used to it. Why can't you just say, you know what? I'm packing all of my shit up and I'm leaving. I may lose some things in the process, but I'm leaving. Okay. But for whatever reason, you're comfortable there. Okay. Even though things are fucked up, Virgo, even though it's uncomfortable, for whatever reason, you're stuck. You're staying there. It's like you you have put a whole bunch of oil or grease in a pot, okay? And the pot is getting, the grease is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. You know it's uncomfortable if you put some, if you're frying bacon, the bacon is popping or whatever it is that you're doing, but you want that bacon. And it's, it's, it's like you're willing to get popped every night again by the hot grease instead of, of turning it down low, doing what you need to do, whatever the situation is. It's like you like this pain, okay? And, and I don't know why you feel the need to, to feel that you can work it out. It's the grease is too hot. It's time for you to jump out. It's time for you, it's time for you to get out of this uncomfortable situation. I, I hope I'm making sense. It's like you're staying somewhere where it's so uncomfortable, but yet and still you're staying there and you don't need to. You can control the power of the grease. Get it? got memories of love you feel that if you got out of this situation or if you left this person alone or if you left yourself open for this person to come back and they're still not back and you're wondering should i move on or should i just wait for this part no you don't need to wait on for this person we have new beginnings you're probably tempted to wait because you love this person but no this person or this situation is disrupting the very essence of your comfort level okay it's time for you to move on to build a firm foundation elsewhere. 
You got to. You got to, Virgo. Stop getting popped by the grease, okay? We have the crown chakra. Stop getting popped by the grease, Virgo. We have the solar plexus. I mean, you want you care about this person because the sex was good and, and this is the only person you trusted yourself with. But everything about you, your whole entire being is centered around a connection that's very, very toxic for you. Okay, and the only way that spirit spirit is trying to tell you it's time for you to let it go, whether you're with this person or not, whether whatever, whether this person is in your heart, you haven't been able to let that person go because you still care for that person. That's kind of like blocking other people, other people, good quality people from coming into your life. Some of you share children with this person. We have a we have the fertility card, and some of you don't. But we have fulfillment of wishes. You got to open yourself up. Okay. And have spirits trying to give you what it is that you're asking for. Okay. But you're stopping the blessings because of the energy that you're currently in. That you haven't been able to let go of. Okay. Y'all let it go. What does Michael need to know right now? We have wisdom. You have wisdom. Okay. You have the, the intuition. You have choices. You know, you have the sense to move on because you're looking at other people, the happiness that other people have in their lives. And you want that same happiness. Spirit is trying to give you what you're asking for, but you're choosing to stay in the in the oil. You're choosing to stay stuck. OK. Rejoice, rejoice in celebration. And we have partnership. Rejoice in celebrating and knowing that there's a good future out there with you. With somebody who deserves your time and, and your and your and your love, it's time to celebrate. We have thirty three that resonates with you. It's time for you to, to put yourself out there and go celebrate with people. Okay, don't stay stuck in an uncomfortable position because it because it's, it feels normal to you. Okay, don't stay stuck in an uncomfortable position because it stays normal to it's normal to you, Virgil. Let's get a final message. We have patience and planning, and we have authority. Only you have the power to walk through these gates. Question is, are you ready? Are you going to are you going to keep getting popped by the hot grease, Virgo? Are you going to back the fuck up? It's up to you.